All right. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.45 a.m. And um, because I have so many different jobs, I thought that maybe I would show you a day in my life of a different job. So today I am nannying. I'm actually currently sleeping outside of the house of the family I'm working for, um, which is in a different city than where I normally live. But anyways, I am taking the two children to school today and helping them with morning stuff. So I woke up really early and um, I'm going to change and then go inside and start getting stuff ready for them. Um, basically, um, yeah, <laughs> it's too early. I went, washed my hair last night and it's still wet, which sucks. But um, anyways, that's okay. I put all my clothes for the day under the sheets um, last night so that when I woke up this morning, they'd be warm and it wouldn't be too cold. So we got clothes here and we're just gonna change because Are you both wearing full uniforms today? Yeah, because it's Wednesday. Ah. Do you want something on the side? Yeah. yeah. What do you normally have on the side? Like cheese? Um, just like two things. Sometimes something like two small things, but not included. So you just don't want me to put it in your bag? Is that what you're saying? No, I want you to put it in my bag, but not my lunch. Right. Okay, I will do that. In for you? you. So thirsty. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right. So I just dropped the kids off um, at school. It'd be really cool if this, oh my gosh, it can go sideways. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, it is currently 8.20 in the morning, um, 
I didn't really like have time to make breakfast for myself or eat anything, but I just have some uh, dried fruit. So I had two dates this morning. I've got some banana chips organic. And then under all of this, I have goji berries. So have some goji berries and bananas now. It is a cold and rainy day. Um, I think what I need to do now is go back to the family's house and make dinner and lunches for tomorrow. So just meal prep for them. I'm clearly not in my truck. <laughs> so one perk about this job is that I get to drive this nice small little vehicle which is fun because I don't I just don't often have the opportunity to do that and it's kind of nice sometimes to have a break from like a big truck and a big camper so um yeah banana chips remind me so much of Spain if you ever watched any of those vlogs from when I was in Spain sometimes we would have like guests that were staying at the um, villa where I worked and they would bring me back like dried fruit um from like Granada and the markets and stuff. And dry bananas were always what I asked for. And so it kind of just brings back memories of Spain. So we're gonna see if I know the way home. Usually I use the GPS, but um, I think we're just gonna go for it and see how we do. I would like to get this meal prep done because they want me to barbecue and I don't think I've ever barbecued in my life. Clearly I'm vegan and I don't really utilize a barbecue now. So she wants me to make barbecue chicken. <clears throat> so um, we will see how that goes. And if anyone's wondering, I do cook non-vegan things, <clears throat> um, meat and such for the um, families that I work for. Basically, just to like always have vegan or like vegetarian families would be great, but um, it's also just like really difficult um, <laughs> to find them. And to be honest, I probably would not have many jobs if that were the case. Uh, if this is gonna be too shaky, darn, that sucks. I see now why so many YouTubers and vloggers and stuff like film in their vehicle while they're driving because it's just like, it almost feels natural just to like speak <clears throat> to someone and tell us, tell a story. Oh my God, my voice. <clears throat> I don't know where my voice is going. <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, but for Christmas, I am going back to my family and my grandparents' house. So anyways, I'm going to be heading to um, very cold, snowy um, Alberta is the province where I'm from. So I get a break from the camper for a week and then I come back and I have just a little over a week <clears throat> before I go to Mexico, which I'm very excited for. It's going to be so nice to have just an abundance of fresh fruit and vegetables and ugh, this is such a terrible intersection and um, like sun every day it's gonna be so nice Mexico is gonna be great however all of this means that the camper is going to be without anybody living in it for um, probably like a total of two months with my Christmas trip and then um, Mexico. So yeah, I am trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to winterize it because nobody is going to be inside to demold every two days. <laughs> and yeah, I saw there were a lot of comments on a few videos or yeah, a few videos ago. Um, people saying that vinegar stops the mold from or the mold spores apparently bleach will get rid of the mold but it won't uh stop the spores so i think before i go um when i winterize it i'm going to 
do like first a bleach of everything and then maybe a vinegar spray. So hopefully that kind of mitigates some of the mold uh, issues that I could have coming back. Like, and I am not gonna lie, I have like some anxiety and I'm slightly terrified of, uh, oh boy. slightly terrified of coming back, opening the door to the camper and just seeing like everything being black and green and fuzzy. I know that it won't be that bad, but in my head, I just like, yeah, it's a little scary. But also, that problem is not here yet, so I shouldn't worry about it. I have a lot of exciting things to look forward to, and yeah, Mexico will just be such a nice break. <laughs> Anyways, I'm almost at their house, so I'm gonna sign off and I will see you guys later. So, I'm all finished work now. Made dinner for the family. Um, kids ate, washed my face, and got all ready for bed, warmed up my hot water bottle, and now for dinner, I'm just having, I already ate one, but two pieces, two pieces of gluten-free toast with a little bit of leftover avocado and a pickle. <laughs> so that's my dinner. I also had one date. It is only like 7.45 p.m., I'm going to try to get to bed early because I have to get up early again, 6.30 a.m. Um, I know this was kind of a weird vlog and I couldn't show a bunch because I don't want to show the kids or the family. Yeah, nannying always kind of looks a little different for me. So this was just one of my days working as a nanny, living in the camper. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.